Hello everyone, Linda Israel here and I am sharing with you the January 15th creative prompt. If you're just joining us, you know you can go back and watch the other videos and go ahead and catch up to us. Their prompts for January aren't completely centered around the actual day. It's more about a thought or an idea or a project. So you can go back and catch up. So I hope that you will. Do check the description box below. Click on show more to get more information. Like for example, the link to the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. That's where we're sharing these prompts daily and weekly. They were prompts created by Robin Finnessy and she's one of my administrators and a friend and she asked if I would execute these prompts and that's what I'm doing is little videos to show you my thoughts, ideas, and hopefully it'll inspire you to create in your journals and write in your journals. Not just make pretty things and shove them on a shelf. Let's use some of these journals to get some thoughts down. So today it is uh, everyone needs to practice self-care in some way every day. Create a journal page about self-care, whether it's an action or a word, and then write about how you do self-care for yourself. So self-care is really important. You know, if you're not taking care of yourself, you're not going to be able to do things that you love. And one of those things that I have found for myself was to get some exercise. And I thought I would kind of do a little bit about self-care on my page here, but I'm going to keep it relatively simple. So to start with, I have a digital download from Calico Collage. And it is in my shop because it is part of my uh, creative rainbow kits that I offer. And this is called Radiant Red. The flowers that you see here and this one that's kind of in the background were flowers that I hand painted, scanned them in, and then Norella created this page. So I'm going to use that as my foundation. And then I was digging around trying to find some words and I have a little bin. So let me grab it. So I've got a little bin that I put words and sometimes I'll put leftover pieces. And I just happen to have this little poppy image. And it's one of... Uh, calico collages just think small little images maybe you found a magazine that is about self-care and it has things that are important to you maybe it's about loving yourself so you could draw a giant heart on your page so think in that terms whenever you're working on your page so I thought love like love yourself and I thought that would be kind of cute just to paste onto the page here so I'm just going to glue this down. I put a little string on it just so it would stick out, add some interest to the page. So again, that's an image on the front that was from Calico Collage. I have a little tag punch that I punched out the shape. And then in the background, I'm using the postcard collage. I think that's what it's called. Postscript collage? Postcard collage. I always get it right. Postmark collage. That's what it is. Postmark collage is in the background. And then the word is part of my black white words on black that I offer in my shop. All right, so here are my thoughts. I'm going to write these down and then I'll go over them with you. This can be a short video. All right, so for today we are to journal about self-care. You can make your whole page themed around that. Maybe you clip out some magazine images or you have some rubber stamps that show your body or your mind or your heart, your soul, whatever it may be. So here's what I wrote. Journal about self-care. Uh, must love ourselves and take care of our mind and body. If we don't, then we won't be able to do the things that we, that we love. Things that we love my self-care routine sleep at least eight hours eat good foods exercise my body meditate and rest my mind find ways to be good to myself daily love myself so i hope that that kind of gives you a little insight about myself as well as give you some inspiration for a journal page for yourself and I do highly recommend all of these things try to get that eight hours of sleep 
eat good foods. You know, stop with the junk food and the fast food, y'all. I'm guilty too. Exercise your body. I don't care who you are. Even if you are bedridden, find something you can do, whether it be, you know, lifting your arms over your head or doing leg lifts while you're in bed, getting up and going for a walk. Find something that you can move your body somehow because if we get that blood flowing, it just makes us healthier. And then meditate and rest your mind. You know, those can be done different ways. You may want to sit quietly and contemplate something. You may want to do yoga. You may want to do a Bible study. Whatever works for you to clear your mind, to rest your mind, and then finally love yourself. You know, we are our worst enemies. We have a tendency to really judge ourselves harshly and therefore sometimes we don't love ourselves very well so love yourself all right everybody thank you so much for watching for following along in the daily prompts i hope you're enjoying these give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course comment below if you have any comments or questions check out the description box again for the friendly junk journal people as well as my social media connectors have a fabulous day, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.